All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Star Renegades. It is, I mean, I've already played this a uh, couple weeks ago. There was the preview version that they sent to me, which is effectively the demo in the first level. Uh, it's a super fun game. It's made by Massive Damage, who are the people that made Halcyon 6, which is a game that I absolutely adored a uh, couple years ago. Never finished it because it was just a little on the long side. But it's always the game that I point to for how to do status effects correctly in an RPG. And so I'm kind of glad to play this one. This one's a, this one's a full-on roguelike. Uh, let's quick take a look at options just because that's what I got to do. And pretty basic. Nothing to worry about. Let's dive in. I would love it if it had saved my progress from the preview, but oh well. All right, the only thing left to do is turn you on. Activate droid. A a activate droid? Activate droid. I have to click on it. Beautiful, all systems go. Maybe this fight isn't over after all. I did a pretty good job making you look like a run-of-the-mill servo bot. That should come in handy. Now, it's probably Jet, J5T1N. Jetton? Jetton. Jetton? I almost thought, like, Justin, but that's not quite it. Just Justin? No, it might actually be Justin. J-S-T-I-N. Justin. Yeah. Now, Justin, we have to go outside. I'll let you lead the way. Okay, there we go. So I can move the map around. I like the art style. The mix of 2D and 3D works pretty well. Uh, can I leave? Okay. The controls are a little funky doodle. But I understand it. What? These buildings usually aren't on fire. The attack just ended. So so they'll be back soon to finish the job. So we have to hurry. The entry point is right over there. Pay attention, J5. You need to walk through this portal to deliver a very important message for me. Find Professor Zurich. They're the only other person I can trust. They might be a little testy, but that's just how geniuses are sometimes. Find them and play the message I gave you. Can you do that? Beep. I'll take that as a yes. Countless lives depend on you doing that. Though, try not to let that give you a big head or sphere, I suppose. Go through the portal when you're ready. Really? What's that? Don't worry about me. Your mission isn't the only thing that matters anymore. Oh, your mission is the only thing that matters anymore. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this works. Good? Yeah? Well, into the past. Save people. 
Oh, can we actually read this stuff? Kind of. Citizen, I'm not saying those signals we caught last night were extra-dimensional aliens, but if they were, then I just hope I'm not going to get probed. I haven't seen this much commotion here since we proved the non-existence of space whales. I'll remember that till the day I die. Who'd have thought physicists would get so violent? <laughs> All right. What did I say about not being... Uh, come here and give me whatever message you have. She's Professor Zur Zurich. I'm in the middle of studying the most important unexplainable quantum phenomenon of my career, so whatever this is, I hope it's reality shattering. Hello, Dr. Zurich. Okay, I guess that counts. Let's cut to the chase. I'm you, and you're me. We're from different realities. I know this is highly confusing even to you. I've sent this hyper-advanced servo bot across the quantum divide to warn you. Your reality is under attack even as we speak. Does this have anything to do with the Q71 entanglement phenomenon you detected over Norish? Norosh? Precisely. You've certainly alerted the Star Union Council, and they've dispatched the Armada to investigate. You'll learn very soon that the Armada is destroyed, has been destroyed by a starship of unimaginable power cloaked in the entanglement. This ship is from another reality, and its goal is to conquer your entire galaxy. I know, because they've already conquered mine. I've got a warn them it's too late but when the council calls seeking your brilliant expertise on parallel realities you'll need to have a plan ready and that's where i come in i know these invaders next move and how you can stop them if you follow my lead your world has a shot but if you fail just promise me you'll send uh j5 through to the next reality they invade because they will never stop now listen up here's the plan Meanwhile, over Norosh, a small force of mysterious raiders destroys the mighty Star Union Armada. The surviving starfighters attempt to regroup, pursued by their relentless enemy squadrons. Over Norosh, a small force of mysterious raiders destroys the mighty Star Union Armada. Surviving starfighters attempt to regroup, pursued by the relentless enemy squadrons. So, I will admit, I've actually recorded this whole section before, and even a number of these cutscenes that you're going to see over the next couple bits are actually things that I had already recorded back when I did the preview. So, what I've done is I'm effectively going to skip the tutorial, just because it's a little slow and it's a little boring and I want to dive into the actual run but I've cut out all of the cutscenes from my preview footage and put them into this episode, so you're not going to miss any plot, but you're going to miss boring me learning how to play more, and uh, this way we can dive into the actual run a little bit faster, and I'll be a lot more interested because tutorials tend to be just kind of dull. So, hope you enjoy. Win, answer me. I know you're alive. I'm fine, Dave. Dav? Those enemy fighters are good. Really good. I'm lucky I managed to land in one piece. Yeah, Davion. Probably Davion? Davion? You get points for missing all those buildings. Ah, Zub Zub Crud. I've got more of those fighters on my tail. Where are they all coming from? I landed by the train to Fort Garon. If I can get to the base in time, you can get those anti aircraft guns online. My thoughts are. Exactly. That'll be a nice surprise for these fighters following me. Great plan. I'll calm you when I'm at the base. Over and out. Uh, she. She gets the idea not to do it. I'm picking up some strange signatures on the train. Something tells me they aren't commuters. These raiders have ground troops too then, eh? Okay, I'm at the base. Just what I thought. It's been hit with some kind of EMP. Well, at least the coast is. Teleported in. Union techs have been researching that for decades. How'd these guys do it? 
they may be more advanced than us, but at least we can take them out in a fight. Let's see how I do against this next one. Just remember your training, you'll be fine. I could use those guns right about now. I've got a trail of fighters right behind me. Roger that. Yeesh, little sis to the rescue, I guess. Nope, don't see anything else. Fort Garen. Fort Garen saw a lot of action in the Flux Wars. That's mostly used for training. There we go. Oh, that's the transfer spot. I get it. I don't see anything else to immediately explore or interact with, so let's go this direction. Okay, Dav, the guns are powered up. I'll leave these fighters right to you. It'd be like shooting zub zubs in a barrel. Uh, where'd that ominous otherworldly ship come from? I got a bad fee. Davion, pull up. Something else took remote control of the guns. I guess I botched the landing. Dav, you're alive. We gotta get out of here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just a little shaken. That was a close call. I found what you're looking for, mother. He's as pathetic as you said he'd be. God. A temporary setback. Mother shall soon have her victory. Uh-oh. Stay back, when I'll take care of this guy. What he lacks in charisma, he makes up for in hideousness. Mother only wants you, Davion Syphex. He has no interest in the female. No way you're doing this solo, Dav. We need to work together to defeat him. Enough. This is taking far too long, and the results are inevitable. Dav, get back. Be careful. Alright, Quantum Burst. That's just unfair. Alright, Dav. Defend. And keep hewing him. It's not going to change a damn thing. Okay. Keep hewing him. Bleed for me. Well, there it goes. No, this can't be happening. Mother, I've done what you asked. Bring me back. I cannot last much longer. Don't give up, Dav. I can't do this without you. The attack stopped after that, but it was too late. The Star Union fleet was crippled, and you were dead. We buried you on Trigaxis, near the Quantum Studies Department of Trax University. You were always the star student. General Geddon himself spoke at this ceremony. He said now wasn't the time for despair, that we had to remember our values, to fight for our way of life. It wasn't just empty rhetoric. He introduced me to Professor Zurich, the lead researcher in Quantum Studies. The two of them had a plan to beat the Raiders. They needed me to lead an elite team of heroes. They promised me a shot at revenge. How could I say no? So yeah, this is... Sorry about that, the engineer said the landing would be smoother. I've gone through worse landings lately. As long as you and J5 survived, it's a success in my book. You should help with your companions and their pods. It seems they're having a little trouble with the hatches. Oh, come on. On it. Come on, J5. Help me out. Xurax Nurza, Archon, joins the Renegades. Level 1. How's the trip? All praise Lord Botula for delivering us safely to the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, Titans be praised, etc, etc, I get it. Look, you're not going to try and convert me again, are you? Nodo Calthoris, Saboteur. I'm locked and loaded and ready to roll out. Let's smoke these bogeys. What are you doing? Just talking like a space marine. Don't you li don't like it? I can switch to Nodo normal style. Yeah, why don't you do that? No problemo. Normal it is, boyo. 
Enough chit chat. Move out and take control of that Imperium base. Kill anything that slows you down. Don't get cocky, though. Mo their most powerful warrior officer is stationed at the base. We'll be in contact to provide mission specs along the way. Lock and load, boyos. Time to tag and bag some Imperial drones. Now, roll out. See? I told you that's how Space Marines suck. My spiritual teachings tell me that both paths are favored for our objective. Your wisdom clearly knows no bounds. Boss lady, I don't think these fundamentalists are big on sarcasm. What is sarcasm? Oh, I get it. You're being sarcastic right now, huh? Am I? Go check out the Titan hand. Is anyone else a little freaked out by all, the, by all these giant hands? In the end, it's just a hand. A really, really old hand. I know a few collectors who'd pay top dollar for a Titan hand like this. Alright, Imperium defenses. Impressive bit of machinery. Looks like they aren't online, though. Bad time for the Imperium to take a bathroom break. Now we have their guns. Some things... Oh, sometimes a big gun is just a big gun. That's it. Impressive technology, yet a curse nonetheless. Imperium tech is more advanced than ours in every way, so feel free to steal anything you can. I wouldn't mind the opportunity to analyze it. The Imperium must have a huge R&D budget, and yet the actual Imperium soldiers are monumentally stupid. What gives? My best guess is they cross quantum journey. It takes a toll on brain functions. This would explain why they're networked into an advanced AI neural net. Although it's anyone's guess why they refer to this AI as mother. This is why I'm glad that bots do not have parents, only all powerful creators who can legally dismantle us at their whim. Great job, you slice and dice those bogeys. Now, now that their base belongs to you, you've earned a break. Set up camp, get some rest, and we'll push on in the morning. Listen up, team. I have a mission update. Right now, the Imperium can only open small temporary dimensional gates, but they found a way around this. Titan Core, an ancient synthetic material buried deep beneath the ground of the Titan planets. These cores were constructed by the Titans and incredibly powerful. They make nuclear weapons look like slingshots. Well, that's another idea I want to steal. There we go. If the Imperium manages to get a hold of this energy source, they'll be able to open up a dimensional gate that's stable and big enough to bring a full-scale invasion force. If there's one thing Old Noto doesn't like, it's being under, uh, ground under the iron boot heel. Or, uh, ground under an iron boot heel. Maybe that's just me, though. So you grasp the gravity of the situation. We'll just have to make sure they never get to that Titan Core. We've learned that the Imperium will send a behemoth to remove the Titan Core in three days. That's why they chose to invade invade Menku. If you stop them here, we can cripple their invasion plans. Imperium's carved up the area with force fields, hoping to block you and slow you down. Fortunately, J5 is able to hack their systems. The professor says it's a new quantum feedback device she engineered from stolen Imperium tech, but I'm not so sure. J5 only has enough energy for three barrier breaches before he needs to recharge for the night. So be sure to keep a close eye on your time and resources. Now J5's command, roll out. So that's the excuse why we can only take one path. Hey, I'm not too big a man to be led around by a s servo bot. Alright, so now that I've zipped through the actual tutorial, this is the only thing that matters. I'm going to pick up the Pyroblaster uh, that has penetrates armor and inflicts burning. That sounds really useful. Okay. And yeah, this is all the exact same stuff that I covered a couple weeks ago. So we're just going to pick up on the actual run, and hopefully this time around I can beat the, uh, the big bad. Okay. Camping, I know about this stuff. So, we're still a little injured. Let's see. We've got some basic actions. So she's got heal health. He's got extra max shields, last two combats. I've been giving it to her. Because that seems worth it. But she's usually the one that's getting hit the most. I think we also had a lot more camping cards the last time I played. And we'll just heal him up the rest of the way. And we're good. How long is a single playthrough usually? About an hour? It kind of depends. So since this is a roguelike, uh, you don't... 
you know, it's more repetitive. There's kind of an overall campaign feel here, uh, where there's four different planets. You honor me, mother! Uh, so we're currently on Menku, and we're trying to clear the planet out, and then we'll move on to the next two, and then the final world. Uh, but I'm not really guaranteed to win, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. Listen up, team. I have a mission update. Right now, the Imperium can only open... Okay, we know about this. Interesting. I've spawned in a slightly different location than last time. It's still the same map, but I don't quite remember being here. Okay. So this means the area is about to be locked down, and I won't be able to come back. We only have three days to do this, and so what I want to do is get into as much as I can and unlock as much as I can. So this is going to lock off, which is not really a big deal. There's nothing in there. But I want to get to credits caches. I want to get to... Really what I want, want to do... Fight this guy. Get in here, but not use the healing kit, probably. Fight there, because that's got some goodies. That's got some goodies. What I'm trying to do is pick up as much equipment as possible, because I'm I'm inevitably going to lose here. May maybe not inevitably, but it's it's a high likelihood of loss. And so what I want to do is pick up as many goodness as I possibly can before I do. So maybe the credits, maybe the shields, but I think we want to go this way. So one, two, three. I could go down here and fight this guy. And that would still give me time to do one, two, three, or one, two, three. I doubt this guy is going to get locked off. And that would give me potentially access to the enhanced shields, which I think is quite helpful. So is this game fully launched? Yes and no. It is fully launched on the Microsoft Games Pass, but it is not fully launched on Steam. Uh, Games Pass people had a bit of a head start. Okay, so let's do Blitz, because Pierce's armor does Pyro and knocks them back. That's a really nice change of pace. Okay, so he's been he's been broken, but he will be going fairly early on the next round. Uh, let's see, what is he weak to, by the way? It doesn't look like he's weak to anything specific, so let's just hit him as much as we can. This feels better. It was super weird being in, like, I'm not actually recording for YouTube mode. And so that puts me in this odd spot where it's just like, how do I commentate this? It makes no sense. Okay, so he's doing laser eyes. It's not even going to hurt that much. So let's just hit him. Okay, hit him pretty bad. He does laser eyes, which, yeah, doesn't break my armor as long as it doesn't break through my shields. So we're good to go. The campaign format feels vaguely like a compact Darkest Dungeon. Your run from today was almost an hour exactly. And that's such a perfect length, in my opinion. Like, longer than that gets kind of uncomfortable. But an hour for a roguelike? I can work it. It gets a little dicey if I have too many games where every single episode is an hour. Uh, but this game also feels like it might have some decent stopping points here and there, especially for the longer runs. Did I get him? No. But, he's almost dead. I should be able to just slash and crash him. I'm doing way better at this than I, when I was doing the preview. Uh, let's see, Wonder, when you first did commentary, was it very awkward or were you comfortable with it? I mean, you could go check my old videos. I definitely was a lot worse at it. I don't know if I ever put out my old... Oh, shoot, what was the, what was the game I played? It was a side-scrolling brawler made clay called... Gosh, I don't even remember. It's times like this, just staring down some group of subservient animals, or subsentient animals that I feel pr really proud about the dimension I came from. Righto, Shank, that's it. Yeah, I did a series on Shank, and I'm not sure if it ever hit YouTube. I think it did. 
But you can absolutely tell, as part of Shank, that I did not know how to do solo commentary and it was really uncomfortable for me. So he's just doing laser eyes, he's just doing fire. So let's beat the shit out of this dude. Wait, hold up. What are your traits? Weak versus concussion, enraged when hit. Extra defense versus AoE and less shields. Okay, so let's bestow shields on her. I'm gonna go blitz this guy into next Tuesday so he takes slightly less damage. And did they address the dog petting? They never responded to my tweet, so there's a very real possibility they didn't even see it. I hope they did. Time to take down this dimension for good. Okay, so he's doing Laser Storm. That seems like a problem. Uh, let's see. Dude. So what's Laser Storm gonna do? It's gonna do a bunch of damage to Zerks, but it's not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the hit. I'm gonna kill the side guy. Because that's a lot more useful for me. Yeah, that worked out. Okay, so he's doing laser eyes. If I cleave... Go back. Let's blitz him. That breaks him. Okay, so he's now enraged. I need to figure out what enraged does. Extra damage, reduced defense, all powers execute five seconds faster. Good to know. Alright. Well, one way or another... He is... Yeah, he's already broken. Let's just bestow shields on self, just in case. This guy's beefy enough that I'm not going to want to risk it. multi-stack and rage. E uh, doesn't look like it, no. Let's not do that yet. If I blitz him again, we break him again. Yeah, this is working out. And let's pursue shields on her, just so we can take any hit that we want with no major issues. Anyway, so as far as commentary went, I was definitely unsure of myself. It was really hard to keep a consistent train of thought for long periods of time uh, without getting very distracted or just going silent. So who's he shooting at? Shooting at her. All right, good time for defend. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just shot him. Eh, we'll get plenty of time to recover. There we go. But, so... I, I noticed, even still, I'm not quite comfortable with it. There are definitely times where I get kind of distracted. I'm usually just waiting for stuff, is what I... I find to be my main issue. And so, I'm waiting for somebody to say something. I'm waiting for an effect to happen. Oh, he's actually shooting at me. Whatever, we'll just recover... We'll just recover shields and then keep wailing on him. Yeah, this guy is easy peasy. But honestly, that's just something that truly comes with time and nothing more. Let's see. Yeah, he's just shooting him, him again. And so as long as you just keep working on it, you will you will get there eventually. It's like any other skill. Truly, being entertaining, putting on a good show, and keeping people engaged is, is just something that y you get used to. Uh, let's see, stash that. Just send my body back home. Righty-o. I wonder if they actually made this a little easier. 
Because that definitely felt more cakewalkish, but I think I know what I'm doing. Uh-oh. I was sure that fight was going to go our way. Should I be worried? No. I must trust in Mother. I do so if you want to. New gear. What do we get? Uncommon. So, blade, blade, or blade? Laser. Extra damage versus health. Inflicts irradiated. Three. Burning three. Burning three extra armor damage. I'm liking the idea of this stealing health, and I have no idea what irradiated tree does. But stealing, stealing health will keep her up for a lot longer. Penetrating armor might be good. I think I'm going to go laser blade. Insufficient level. Oh, right. She has to be level 3 for this one. Well, I'll stash it for the time being, and V to level up. Okay, when you've obtained enough DNA, you can use it to level up your heroes. Levels are reset when you return to the Renegade base and jump to the next dimension. Yep. Anyway, I've got enough to level level her up twice, actually. Okay, gains sunder. How expensive is that? Oh, do they make trick shot so I couldn't use it nearly as much anymore? Well, that's a bit of a shame. Anyway, I'm gonna just level her up again. Because Sunder is actually really helpful. Okay, squad, her, equipment, laser sword. Okay, so let's take a look at, around. So I could head for the healing kit, but none of these are going to lock off. Just that one, and this one down here. And for the sake of convenience, let's go fight him and see what we get. I really like how this game is, is organized. I like the weird pixel art, too. Well, weird. It's not that weird. Free action does not end turn, taunts the enemy. In applies ally effects, inspired extra damage. Who's he shooting for? Everybody else. Alright, let's do a battle cry. Okay. Sunder. Irradiated. Reduced defense versus health damage. Blocked by shields and armor. Okay. So he does not have any shields, so this Sunder is actually incredibly good right about now. Let's just wail on this guy. And yeah, the only unfortunate part is I want to burn his armor with her. But I guess I could have done cleave. But it's fine. Now he's irradiated. Alright, so he... Unless I'm mistaken, this is hitting everybody, yeah? Cool. I guess, honestly, let's just go full field defense instead. Because he's going to crit us otherwise, and that's not super worth getting hit by. I'm on fire? No, I'm not on fire. Hell yeah. Immolate. So, no point in doing Sunder anymore. So let's just do that. Bestow shields on him. And if I did a straight shot... We can also just do a Blitz. Let's go for the Blitz. Make it so the Cleave does more damage anyway. That gets him good. Oh boy. That got him dang good. So I don't have anything else. He's just hitting her. So let's just defend. Let's throw shields on her. And we'll just hit him with a straight shot. And then I'll muck him up on the next round. Zero damage because I've got armor. Hell yeah. I don't think that cost me any armor. I could be wrong. Oh, 
Uh, let's see, why does he look like a Space Marine in Terminator armor? My assumption is he actually is supposed to look more like a, uh, a fire bat from StarCraft than anything else. Maybe. Got two days until Behemoth touches down. Good luck out there. Dustin will be ready with another set of charges in the morning, but consider yourselves off duty for the rest of the night. Okay. So, cool thing is, nighttime I can still wander around and interact with stuff. So, we can grab the credits down here. It's not much, but I'll take it. And we can go back up here and grab some spare DNA. I wish I could actually look ahead and see if there's any nighttime resources that I can collect as well, but it doesn't look. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have that opportunity. Okay, so let's level up. Who do we level up here? Uh, hmm. I got some. Wait, does leveling up actually reduce his damage? Can't be. It did. What? Why? What? I am confused. Oh, it's okay. I don't really attack with him anyway. Alright, let's camp. Okay, attack causes bleeding. Ooh. That's really... That's good. Unfortunately, that's really mostly useful on her. Defeated adversary and lieutenant together. Exhaust when used. Dynamic duo. Oh. Uh, let's see. Oh, so I have to use it. I have to use it on him, specifically. Well, that's fine. Okay, so he's got text drain shields and max shields. So I think I'm actually going to put it on... I feel like I should almost put it on him instead. We're going to be going into some pretty hefty hits. Okay, tax rate and shields on her, because she's got a decent chunk of shields. And then back to her, we don't have to heal, so attacks cause bleeding. I could give it to him, but I think I'm going to work on this, because that might get their first friendship level. Nope, it doesn't. Rise and shine, Glubworms. Justin's up and ready to breach some Imperium force fields. So you're on uh, on his time now. You got two days until the Behemoth touches down. Good luck out there. All right, let's take a look around. So do we have any places that are closing? Yes, this one. Any up here? No, just this, this one over here, which, you know what? I, oh, these two. Okay, so we want to get to these two and... I don't know. I'm not actually sure how much I, I care to go after that one. But I want to I want to get the credits. What I want mainly is the money or not the money. I want the I want the equipment. The more equipment I can have, the more options I can have. Uh, the stronger I'm going to be on su subsequent runs, and I want to pick up as much of that as I possibly can grab. Okay, so what do we got? Everybody is shooting at her. That is fine. So here's a question. Who do we hit? Because I could use Sunder. Who is the weakest? Robo Soldier Mark 1 down there seems to be the weakest by far. He's also he in terms of HP, he's the weakest. He's also the one with the most amount of... So if I do cleave, it's not going to work for me. Uh, he's also the one least amount of armor, most amount of damage, at least currently. So ideally, I'd like to kill him if I can. Bestow shields on her. And yeah, we're just going to kill this guy. All right, we're good.
Damn. That's some damage. Okay, didn't take any armor off, and we can get a little bit back on her at the very least. Nope, all of it. Yeah! Okay, next up, same DLZs on the other dude. We can take the hits. Whoever they're shooting at ain't gonna get through this. Did I kill him? Yep. Alright, he dead. That worked out. Okay, so direct strike. But that's fine. This thing barely has any armor. There we go. So you get Blitz. And we should be able to knock it out. So Spellbreak got its solo mode. What is solo mode? Just like a solo queue? Or is there like an actual single player? Uh, Because I will admit I've totally ignored that game. Because I'm not at all interested in playing a lo uh, playing competitive stuff 90% of the time. But if there's like an actual interesting single player thing, then I'm down. Okay. I'm going to give him an extra 20 shields. I could give it to her, but she weathers most, most hits naturally. He, on the other hand, can can get wrecked. And historically, that worked out very poorly for me. Okay, so he's got smelt. Well, here's the thing. If I do blitz, that breaks him. If I do Sunder, it gets rid of all of his armor. This will do more to him. And let's get some shields back. I'm not actually sure who he was shooting. Yeah, I, I've never been much of a PvP kind of guy. So when I heard about that game, I was like, oh, that actually looks pretty cool. And then I lost interest because it wasn't my my flavor. Okay. So we might actually be able to kill this guy if I just go full in. Yeah. I think either I'm going to kill him or I'm going to get him super close to death. Nope. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep hitting him, because we get our shields back after every round. Or after every fight. It's just armor and health that don't come back. So I'm just going to focus on it. Craftopia is really fun. Wonder you're not much of a survival guy. I'm actually pretty big on survival games. Craftopia is just really messy. In a couple of years, it'll be great. But as it stands, right now, it's like four hours of fun. All of which is like super baffling. And then you're done, and you're like, that was... That happened... Let's see. Hatter. Heals health, shield defense, last two combats. Yeah, let's go with that for the time being. I look forward to when it is done, hopefully, when it is actually done, but right now it, it just felt messy. Alright, so we have one more day. We're going to want to do this, this, and this tomorrow. No matter what. So let's go back the long way around. We've already gotten everything we need. And then we'll be good to go. Competitive games are those games you play in between not knowing what to play. I The thing is, like, I always know exactly what I want to play and need to play. Whoa! What's with the white box with the red cross on it? Anyone have any guesses? Nobody? Har. Alright, anything fancy down- yep. I do wish once you breached an area, you could actually just easily walk back without the... Uh, slightly awkward going through the entry points. 
feels like Ark when it came out to me. The taming aspect is super cool. I just wish they didn't have generic elephant and cow and chickens and... Oh, nope, no, why? Like, I'm not super interested in taming a giraffe, but like a, a fantasy creature that's actually kind of cool to look at? Yeah, I could, I could get behind that. But the main issue with that game is that nothing seemed to fit together. All of the faces were in different styles. Half of them didn't even fit on the bodies. Uh, the Almost everything felt like it was bought from an asset store, which, nothing against that, but that can also... It, it just made it look super inconsistent. Okay. So let's go with this one. Giraffes are certainly fantasy creatures. I mean, they kind of can be, but still. You want some of this neuro brew? Thanks, I can't believe how tough these enemies are. The smell alone is a challenge. You want to talk about... Okay, yeah, we already read this one. Oh, well. You want to talk about smell? I grew up near the pocket dimension dump on Colinox. That was a smell that could raise a few hairs. Literally. Because when the dimensional funnel was activated and all the trash would float around the whole neighborhood before it got sucked back in, my buddies and I would try to ride it, and it was all good fun until little Simeon Rex got sucked into the trash dimension. How about you? Where'd you grow up? A uh, mansion on Fabuloso. Uh, what a crumbling mansion. Okay, so she gets extra stagger, he gets extra health, I think? So, heal health, shield defense, plus 10% last combat. Nah, uh, let's keep going with the attack strain's shields. So I gave him some extra shields, so let's go back to giving her the extra shields for the time being. Okay, and with that, I think this is actually a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. I love this game. I'm going to play more. Uh, each run tends to be about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes. So each episode will probably be half of a run unless I get absolutely dunked on things. Uh, my first couple runs actually went pretty well, so it should be pretty smooth. Anyway, uh, so Star Renegades is out now already, and I said I know in the uh, in the preview I said it would be coming out early access, and I'm actually quite wrong about that. Star Renegades is coming out fully today, uh, so you don't have to wait for them to add more. They might still do so, that's what they did with Halcyon 6, but this is effectively a full complete game and it really feels like that, which I love. I love this game, it's going to be so fun. I love all the tactical options, I love the status effect abuse and the timeline abuse. It's got... This is going to be my gold standard for turn-based RPGs for a very long time. As Halcyon 6 was my gold standard before. Uh, so, yeah, look forward to me comparing a lot of games to this one when it comes to turn-based combat. Because it deserves it. It's so well-crafted. So, anyway... With this, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps someone you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because this is going to be a full series. And probably then some, because I just am going to want to do a number of runs with different character combos. Uh, but until then, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.